Every five years, they drag the founders out, <laughs> dust us off, and say, you can talk for one minute, <laughs> but don't do what you always do, which is piss off a sponsor <laughs> or annoy a government person. The Festival of Festivals gets down to business this week, literally. Bill was a grandmaster. He was a kind of a rambunctious rogue. He was a showman. He liked show business. Extremely amusing and very funny and very witty. So he was the perfect front person for the film festival. Go big or go home. This is a big show. You have to remember, not too many people at that point in time thought that the festival was A, important, B, going to work, and C, even knew what a film festival was. No one really supported it in the early days. Bill and I had been talking about the frustration of trying to do films in Canada. And then Bill and Dusty initiated the chat that said, well, maybe we should do a film festival in Canada. We just jumped at it. We said, that's just the sort of thing this country needs. Toronto's Festival of Festivals has grown into a big event. Did you start the Festival of Festivals? Was yes. it your baby? Being in the film business, I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea if we could have a film festival here that would focus international attention on Toronto? Bill wanted to set a very different tone right out of the gate. Most people would start off with a small place, with a small idea, and let it grow. These guys said, no, no, we're going to call it the Festival of Festivals. No competition, no prizes. Really, he wanted the best of the best. It was just done on a hope and a prayer. And Bill had the brains and the foresight to go and get the people who would make this festival great. Which gave the festival its grounding and got it a great deal of respect. The Festival of Festivals held this year in Toronto is the largest public film festival in the world. We were upstarts. We had high hopes for it. We all thought this was a no-brainer. This city was the most interesting multicultural city in the world. I think Bill and Hank seized on an idea and they just expected to succeed, so they were gonna. Bill always thought that the film festival would be sensational for Toronto. He wanted that spotlight on Canadian film and on Canadian talent. And Bill wanted to have fun. Bill was a visionary in many ways. I think that's one of the things that, that turned this festival into what it was. And the other thing was he was never afraid of a fight. I mean, we had battles with the film Censor. Bill loved that confrontation. I think it would be much easier if we had a blanket exemption from the, the rules of normal exhibition for a responsible film festival. In the case of Bill, you didn't know where the trip was going to end up, but the, the voyage was going to be a lot of fun. He wanted to interrupt things, to, to make a difference, to cause trouble. He was bright, smart, witty, doesn't take crap from anybody, relished a good debate. Utterly, totally, and completely irreverent, would take down any institution in a second and have you howling with laughter. This is a man that lived the life the way he wanted it. He was his own guy right from the beginning. He heard a little drum, not heard by the rest of us, but most of us really enjoyed finding out what the drum had to tell us. The week before we started, Robert Martin said, the word for festival of festivals is ambitious. This could be a delightful potpourri, or it could be a dog's breakfast. Well, that's some dog and some bloody breakfast, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs>